In this video, I will show you how to download and use Journey Map in Minecraft. Journey Map is a third party mod that allows you to have a radar in uh, one part of your screen when you are inside of my Minecraft, which you can use to set waypoints. To install this mod, you will need to install a third party mod loader called Forge. This will allow the mod to work seamlessly with your Minecraft client. To download both of these, you will need to move over to your browser. And now we are back in our browser, we select one of the search bars and we write Journey Map. Then we press the Enter button and we open up the Curse Forge website because that is a really trusted website when it comes to mods and this way you make sure that you won't download any viruses. Then when you get inside of the website you press the Files button located right here, you open that up and here you can navigate through all the files for Journey Map and select the exact version that you're looking for. For example, me myself, I'm looking for 1.20.1, .1, so this is the file I will use. Take note of the version that you're downloading because you will need this information further down the video. And find one that is loading with Forge because we are using Forge for this tutorial. Forge is a third party client that connects the mods that you're downloading to your Minecraft launcher. So I will download this version right here. To download it, you click the three dots right here, and then you press download file. Now, after you are redirected to this website right here, you will need to wait a couple of seconds for the download to automatically start. Be careful when clicking on the ads on this website. They are not the download button, they are just ads. After you have downloaded Journey Map, open up a new tab, and in that new tab, write Forge. Then press the Enter button, and select the first link right here. Then Download the exact version of Forge that matches the version of the mod that you just downloaded. If you're looking for an older version of Forge, you can just navigate to the left and select one of the older versions. We just downloaded the 1.20.1 version of Journey Map. So that means that I will also download the 1.20.1 version of Forge. If the mod that you downloaded is a different game version than mine, then make sure to match the game version from the mod to the game version of the Forge that you are downloading. So for me here is the 1.20.1 version of Forge we downloaded by pressing the installer button. When you get redirected to this website, be careful about clicking the ads on it, because they are not the download button, they are just ads. To download Forge on this website, you just go navigate to the top right and press the skip button. And as you can see, the download automatically started. Now, after the download is finished, we can close our browser. Then we can open up our file explorer to find the files that we just downloaded. After we open it up, we press downloads. And then we can take both Journey Map and Forge, select them, right click and copy and paste them on our desktop. Now let's exit File Explorer and the first thing that we will do is install Forge. To install Forge you will just need to double left click the Java file we have right here and it will open up. When opening up the Forge installer, first off you might experience no issues whatsoever and it will work without any issues, but if you experience some errors just open up your browser and after you open it up, write java.com and press enter. This way you will get to the Java official website and here you will be able to download the latest version of Java. The setup is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. That should fix most of the issues. After you have downloaded Java or Forge is starting up in another application, to fix that you can just select it once by pressing left click, then right click and then press open with. Here, in this section, you will look for Java. If it's not showing up right here, just press more apps, find Java, make sure that you have it installed, and then when you find it, just select it and check this box at the bottom called always use this app to open .jar files, and then press OK. If you are still experiencing issues with running Forge with Java, then you need to do something called the jar fix. There will be a link to this guide in the description. Now that we are inside of the installer, at the top you select install client. And then right here in the installation path, 
Forge usually finds this automatically, but if you have done a custom installation of Minecraft, then you might need to change it. And after you are done, just press the OK button. Now Forge is installing. And now we have successfully installed Forge. We press the OK button and we are finished. The next step, we should open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, after we are inside of the Minecraft launcher, we can either go right here, press this, and select the Forge version, or we can go into installations, then hover over Forge and select the play button. Here, you will need to agree to the risk of running a third party mod. And after you have understood the risk, just check this right here and press play. Now we are inside of Minecraft and as you can see the mods section just appeared. That means that Forge is working. The next step is to close Minecraft. After you have closed Minecraft, press Windows key plus R. This way we will open up the run prompt in the bottom left. Or another way is just to press the search button on the taskbar and just write run inside of there and open up this right here. Now, after we have opened up run, we write percentage sign, update, percentage sign, and we press enter. And then we find the Minecraft installation folder at the top. We open it up. And in here, we are looking for the mods folder. The mods folder should automatically be created after you launch Minecraft with the Forge version selected. If it isn't, just right click and create a new folder by, by doing this. Now let's go into mods and take journey map and paste it right into the mods folder. After you have done that, you should run Minecraft once again. Here we are inside of the Minecraft launcher. On the top left, we select Java Edition. Then we can either select Forge right here by clicking this button and selecting Forge, or going to the installations at the top, selecting that, hovering over Forge, and selecting the play button. Now we are back inside of Minecraft. We can select mods, and as you can see, Journey Map appeared right here. That means that we have successfully installed it. Now let's jump into a game. Now that we are back inside of Minecraft, we can open up the mod by clicking the J button. As you can see in the chat, it says press J. Let's press J. And here we have this pop-up right here, or this overlay. We can select options first off. And here you can edit the cosmetic look of the mod. You can change the minimap presets, the full screen map, the waypoints, options, you have advanced options, pretty much anything that you wish. And after you are done with this, you just press the close button, and then you press close once more. And after you press close for the second time, the full map will show up. If you want more of the squares to open up or to be loaded, you will need to travel to them and explore them. Also, here we have some options that you can explore at the bottom and at the top of your screen. After you are done, you just press this button right here and you are back inside of the game. That is it for this video, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.